There are only 10 programs in the entire state of Texas that serve young adults experiencing early psychosis or schizophrenia. Mental health advocates want the state to set aside funding to double the amount of treatment programs. KXAN's Steffi Lee has the story. When you look at Matt now, you see smiles. You see someone who's engaging. But half a year ago... I had a schizophrenic break up at work um, and kind of lost everything, went to the hospital, and I was looking for... You know, help. He's asked us to shield his last name for privacy, but he wants to share how Integral Care's RAISE program helped him so people know there's help available. The program provides care for young adults who've experienced schizophrenia within their last two years. I lost my job. I was, you know, basically living out of my car. Um, when I joined the RAISE program with their team, I was able to find employment learn some money management skills, learn some life skills. And we bring the services out to them. So removing those barriers of transportation or having to keep strict appointment times. Greg Hanch with NAMI Texas says their group hopes the state will set aside $8.5 million over the next two years to add 10 more similar treatment programs in Texas. You have 10 programs with 12 teams. Each team serves about 30 people at any given time. Uh, that's only a fraction of what the need is. The more that people thrive and live to their full potential, our community benefits from that. With the RAISE program's guidance, Matt will return to school this fall to study network administration. I'm grateful to God for it. I mean, it saved my life pretty much. Uh, the Texas Health and Human Services Commission says it's looking into additional funding opportunities. Now, this is the first hearing since the task force was formed on children's mental health in areas impacted by Hurricane Harvey. A report from Texans Care for Children found the storm could have impacts on students' behavior, schoolwork, and overall well-being. The group found prior to this, school and community groups weren't getting enough state support. The committee is looking into the issue further in preparation for the 2019 legislative session.